Hello YouTube and, no, hold on. Welcome to, no, hold on, hold on. Mm -mm. Welcome to, can't, I just can't do it. Mm -mm. Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of Whiskey Business. The only YouTube channel that tells you exactly how drunk you are to Transformers 5, Clusterfuck. <laughs> Without leaders, chaos reigns. Two worlds colliding. This movie has broken me as a human being. It's changed my life in a very negative way and I I have doubt in humanity as a whole. I don't think we could get through this, guys. This might be it. This is how humanity walks into extinction with shit like this. I would rather see a Star Wars movie that had Jar Jar Binks getting DP'd <laughs> for two and a half hours. I'm Mr. Gonna like this, you piggy. <laughs> Transformers: The Last Night tells the story <laughs> of uh, you know. That's Mark, a loose term. Mark story. Wahlberg is on the run. Optimus goes to another planet, and he gets turned bad. And it's all about Cybertron or whatever the fuck coming and trying to destroy planet Earth. The same plot that one, two, three, and four had. So, <laughs> if you're confused, just know it's the same, but worse. The whole movie, I was so confused. Nothing makes any sense. I have no idea why anyone does anything. The it, It's like seven different plots are just pushed together. I cannot stress this enough. I had no idea what the fuck was going on, ever. There was not one character in the whole goddamn movie that I actually liked. Every time a character showed up on scene, I was like, kill him. <laughs> kill him. Die. Die. <laughs> die. Is that gonna die? Is she gonna die? Is he gonna die? Can Mark Wahlberg die? No joke lands in this movie. No. There's, there's so much attempt at comedy that is so fucking bad and awkward that it just, it's cringeworthy. The only time I cracked a smile watching this movie was at some of the action scenes that were so unbelievably ridiculous, it brought a smile to my face out of pure sarcasm. <laughs> pure sarcasm. I, there was a little kid sitting next to me and he laughed. I literally punched him in the face. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but Shia LaBeouf needs to be in these movies for me to care about him because these characters are so fucking stupid and unrelatable that Mark Wahlberg is like a muscle-bound inventor, scientist, action hero. That it's like the dumbest fucking combination. At least that's a reach, Michael. <laughs> that's a reach. Okay, I'm, I'm just saying. Okay? At least Shia LaBeouf was like a normal person that you could relate to. Optimus Prime is turned bad at the beginning of this movie. You've seen it in all the trailers, and he literally he's absent for two hours of this movie. He shows up at the last twenty minutes. The fight scene they show in the trailer, that's the only time he's ever bad. He literally turns good a second after that, and fucking, what the fuck was the point? All the, even the posters, it's like, he's got purple eyes, like, oh shit, Optimus is bad. How are they going to fight him? It's very easy, because <laughs> all you have to do is, like, whisper in his ear that you're friends, and he just fucking forgets all about it. He's like, oh shit, you're right. This... This review is going to be spoiler heavy because do not go see this movie. It's a waste of your time. Do not see it. You know, the real fucking depressing thing is that these movies aren't easy to make. I could see the, the visual effects. They take time. I feel bad for these fucking people. They're locked in these fucking computer rooms. You're making fucking Transformers and you have this fucking stupid script that makes no fucking sense. Even the writers don't care about this fucking movie. They have Bumblebee, for some reason, he fought in World War II, even though in the first movie, they, you see Bumblebee land on planet Earth and go to be fucking Shia LaBeouf's car. So what the fuck? You guys don't even watch your own fucking movies? I'm supposed to sit and watch the fucking movies, but you guys don't fucking care? If you don't care about your own fucking movie, 
I don't fucking care about your fucking stupid movie. Everyone in this movie can fucking just burn. This is the dumbest fucking thing. Yeah, give me some of that. Thank you. I'm not, it's like the episode of South Park when he sees the butt face peoples and you just like, he's just emotionally dead. That's me. I saw this movie and just like, nothing is happiness for me anymore. Speaking of South Park, while watching this movie, I felt like I was on one of those bicycles where I was getting ripped in the ass <laughs> and giving a BJ at this same exact time. Apparently it's good for the environment. <laughs> <laughs> this movie raised so many questions for me. I literally, I had to bring a notepad for the first time ever. I brought a fucking notepad and took notes for the fucking thing. Just so I can remember how many stupid fucking things happen. And I got two pages full of this dumb shit. No, three pages. Three pages of shit. Number one. Let's start. <laughs> Why was Stanley Tucci Merlin? Why did you make Stanley Tucci Merlin? He was in the last movie. All of a sudden, he's Merlin and... He's not in the movie at all. I thought maybe he's a descendant of Merlin. Nope. Stanley Chuchi would just like get in a sandwich on set one day <laughs> and he said, Hey Stan, come on over, buddy. You wanna be a fucking wizard? <laughs> and he said, Sure. Does that make sense for the story? And they all said, What story? This is a Transformers movie. How did an ancient knight from medieval times end up in Chicago? <laughs> Where do baby dinobots come from? <laughs> yeah, why were baby dinosaurs robots in this movie? They literally did nothing. They just burped for a scene and then they're gone. And they delivered Bud Light. They can bring Mark Wahlberg a beer. You know, Bud Light, if you put one more fucking product <laughs> placement in a goddamn Transformers movie, I will come to your fucking factory and burn that motherfucker to the ground. I'm tired of this shit. Mm. Why did the government just free Megatron and let him take five of his most dangerous friends out of prison? That seems pretty dangerous. They just <laughs> said, hey Megatron, here's your buddies. Go kill Mark Wahlberg. Why did the government need to meet with lawyers to meet with Megatron? Talk about the most awkward scene in the movie. They meet Megatron in the middle of the desert. They set up folding tables. Four lawyers... Four, <laughs> four lawyers come out, sit down with laptops and legal paper to legally figure out a contract of how they can get Transformers out of prison. <laughs> I said it before, why was Bumblebee fighting in World War II? Did you guys see the first movie? Because <laughs> Bumblebee was like the first Transformer to land on Earth that Shia LaBeouf ended up being friends with. Apparently he landed like fucking 75 years ago and he's been fighting Nazis the whole time. Did you like go on vacation, Bumblebee? Did you go back out into outer space and like Go to a space brothel, fuck things, and come back to Earth to be a car for a kid? Why does every historical event involve Transformers? Anthony Hopkins goes on like a tirade talking about how every single historical figure was actually protecting Transformers the whole time. It's like a overlapping speech. He goes, George Washington, Nikolai Tesla, Rosa Parks, Albert Einstein, Stephen Hawking, Harriet Tubman. Every fucking person in the planet Earth that has had anything to do with history, it wasn't about what they did. They were actually like jerking off a robot somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but, Matter of fact, Hitler himself was killed by a Transformer. Yeah, yeah, and was probably a Decepticon. <laughs> because that's what this movie wants. Here, this helps. <laughs> Nothing helps. Nothing helps the pain go down. Oh, 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 here's a good one. Here's a good one here. <clears throat> Why was there a submarine with a window in the front? <laughs> Is that a thing? I'm not a naval commander. I don't work for the Navy. I don't do... I don't do boats. <laughs> I'm not in a submarine. 
but I'm sure as fuck there's no submarine with a goddamn window in the front. How the fuck does that work? When you go underwater, does it not just fucking explode and burst through the fucking seams? How is there a window in the front? You... Mm, nope. Why did Anthony Hopkins have to meet with the Prime Minister? I don't know. <laughs> Why did Mark Wahlberg have a badass sword that could kill Transformers, but he only used it one time? I'll tell you why, Mike. Because no one making this film fucking cares. <laughs> you know what, Anthony Hopkins, you are better than this. Why did you sign up for this movie? Mark Wahlberg, he can be a good actor if he's in the right situation. Yeah. And that right situation is him playing a Boston police officer. That's all you can do. Let's wrap this up because I'm gonna have to Uber home. <laughs> Transformers The Last Night is up there with one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my entire fucking existence as a human being on this planet Earth. Just a fucking disaster of of decisions that I have no idea how they are approved. I found zero enjoyment from this film. The people around me were giving a round of applause on this film then. I hope you guys all die in a fire. I give this movie not only a blacked out, I give it a 357 magnum round to the fucking brain. This is just, if you waste money on this, you're part of the problem. I wanna give this movie blacked out, but I'm not. Honestly, if I could go back in time and kick Michael Bay in the dick when he looked at the first Transformer that he actually saw, I would do it. <laughs> it's like there's not enough alcohol <laughs> to make this movie okay. That's what I'm saying. Like, to, to give this movie blacked out? No. No. This That's not doing it justice. This movie is suicide. Instead of drinking during this movie, you should just eat tablets of rat poison. <laughs> <laughs> That's how fucking stupid this fucking movie is. Cheers, until next time, I apologize for the long review, but fuck, this movie is a disaster. It had to happen. Like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Twitter. Please comment, please leave your comments below. I hope we're not the only people that really fucking hated this movie. There's gotta be more people out there that hated this. We got these, we got these shirts for free. <laughs> if anyone wants a shirt, uh, put your address below. I'll personally mail you my shirt covered in my own fecal matter. <laughs> you could use it to line a rabbit cage with or something.